Yeah. But man, multiples are so high now. You're at 55 times forward earnings now. And, and yep. NVIDIA, look at Apple trades at 30 times forward earnings. That's 50% higher than it used to trade. Um, you look at Microsoft trades at a higher valuation that typically does. You look at Amazon at 70 times forward earnings. And these stocks are going to grow. Sons and NVIDIA at like 5% earnings growth per year. And they're trading at high multiples. They used to, they used to grow at like 30% a year. So I think you have a problem here. We have high multiples. You have slower growth. And I think where investors are going to make a mistake is they're going to put all their money back in the tech trade, and tech could still be dead money for a long time. Well, that's what that that's, that's what bothers issue. me about this rally. I mean, the Nasdaq up 20 percent plus yeah. year to date, and it's largely a handful of stocks. Yeah. It, it is. Stocks it's narrow. Like it's a narrow rally. It's a narrow yeah. rally, and so the rest of the market would be flat or down if it weren't for a ha half of these stocks. So, isn't that telling you that this market is uh, anticipating a real slowdown, macro slowdown? You know, what I think it says is there's a lot of good value outside of tech, and what you're is exactly what happened when the tech bubble burst is everyone piled their money back into tech you had these magnificent ra rallies in tech but it's continued to go down over the longer term meanwhile you had great value in the in small caps international this year you're at all-time highs in the french market german market even with the recession greece is up like 30 percent this year so there's a lot of markets around the world that are doing well i think the message here is spread out your money because valuations are cheaper